Hi guys, uh, time for another bargain store project. I'm just doing a bit of computer maintenance at the moment, so there's a bit of a hiss in the background, sorry about that. Uh, just tidying up some of the files to make a bit of space. Anyway, this will be bargain store project number 17, and to do that I'm going to recycle parts again from some of my earlier projects. I'm going to use this beard trimmer. Um, which I put a fan on in project number 13. Um, made a little fan car with it. And I'm going to do something similar again in this project number 17. Uh, basically my grandson managed to disassemble this. It wasn't very difficult, he just uh, removed the axles where they were hot glued in place. What I'm going to do this time though is I'm going to intercept the switch and the motor, put a bit of wire on them and bring the wire out externally. I'm going to use one of these key fobs that I used in project number 7 uh, where I used it to make flashing eyes for a Halloween rat. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to intercept the, the circuitry in that one. I'm also going to use the circuit I put together for this update to project number 14. Um, I brought the wires out from this light activated switch and fed them through a bit of circuitry which is just a couple of transistors so it could switch on the power to this um, electric motor. So, intercept the wires on the key fob, feed them through a bit of circuitry the same as this, or basically the same as this, to switch on and off the fan. So we can see if we can make that small enough and light enough to switch on and off this fan and make a, a whistle activated fan car. I should probably have to use some small wheels in that again. Uh, on this one I originally had the wheels that I've made from VHS cassette tapes or the spools from VHS cassette tapes so I'll probably do that again. I might even, because uh, I've already reused those wheels on project number 16, I may have to take apart this one to use the wheels on here, which was, whoa, forgotten which project that one was, um, number 12 I think, not sure. So that's it, recycling time. It's not that I haven't got plenty more bits and pieces from my pound stores or bargain stores, I just want to use up a few of these bits before I go any further. Right, first thing we're going to need to do is intercept the switch and the motor wiring from inside the beard trimmer. Take the batteries out for now. Right, that's the insides. I need to attach three wires. One here, one here, and one there. So that's the positive and the negative, and also the other side of the switch. Right, there we are. That's the three points intercepted. Uh, positive battery, negative battery, and the other side of the switch. Nice little lump of hot glue in there to stop the wires rocking around. I'll put it back together. Now we'll have a look at the key fob. Right, just doing a close up so you can have a look. The black blob is the controller circuit. There's only four connections go into that black blob. That's the battery goes in there and there. 
on the two sides and then there's two wires come out, or two connections come out, one goes to the other side of the LED which is also the other side of the microphone and speaker and the other side doesn't go anywhere so I'm wondering what that does whether we can use that. If not we'll just have to see what we can do there. Right, time for a rethink. Uh, basically time's run out. I tried to spend just a few hours on these projects. Um, had absolutely no success in intercepting the circuitry on that uh, sound activated key fob, the, the whistling thing. Um, just couldn't figure out how to get it working, not in the time that I've allocated myself. So what I'm going to do instead, this is one of the light detecting resistors out of one of those singing birds. All I'm doing is connecting it onto a single transistor here and using that to switch on and off the fan. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Never mind. You can see it's running <laughs> just with the light I've got there. If I shine my torch on it, speeds up nicely. So that should give my grandson something to do, chase after the car with a torch. So that's what I'll do, I'll just stick that together. Not quite sure I'm having to put the 9 volt battery in circuit. Um, it may just be that the, the transistor I'm using won't operate off just 3 volts. So I've actually got 3 volts and 9 volts to feed through that transistor and run the um, light detecting resistor. So I'll stick that all together, stick some wheels back on the fan and see if I can make a little car out of it. Alright, there we are, a couple of wheels, axles, um, the axles are inside ball pen tubes as I call them. Uh, British would tend to call them biros, but uh, ball pen tubes with um, the axles are made out of, that one's a garden cane and that one's a barbecue skewer. Stick them on here, and then we can go and try it out. Okay, summary, beard trimmer, fan that I found in the road, uh, there's a transistor inside, there's a switch to switch the motor on, uh, a light sensitive resistor on the top there, out of one of those um, motion sensor birds singing birds, wheels made from VHS cassette tape spools, I'm just, uh, that's a bit stiff actually, maybe that's what my problem is, I haven't taken enough care with my axles, they'd be fine for an ordinary rubber band powered thing but we're not getting a lot of power out of that fan so they would need to be absolutely perfect to get a good spin. So, there we go. Seems to take a while to get going. Anyway. That was uh, bargain store project number, gosh, 
17 I think. I think I'm going to have to start doing some new stuff again instead of recycling. Yes, I think inadvertently I may well have done something that my grandson will enjoy because <laughs> he's got to keep poking it to make it work. <laughs> 